Yo, well gone. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn MIDI into audio super fast. This is going to save you a bunch of time because I've seen the normal ways that other people do this. Like when you're in, let's say you're using Omnisphere, which is a plugin that uses a lot of CPU. If you've got Omnisphere, you know what I'm talking about. What a lot of people do is they use this long way. They're using Edison, they're using ARM disk recording, they're doing all of this sort of stuff. And it just takes way more time than the method that I'm going to show you. If you want to change, you know, that audio from MIDI into an audio file that uses way less CPU and is much easier on your system. This video is going to show you exactly how to do that and how to do that in the most efficient way possible. Trust me, this is the best way. Get rid of all the other methods. They don't matter anymore. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you one of my little source tips. So definitely stay tuned till the end of this video. But before we get into it, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing and online business. And if you don't know, this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, Go ahead and subscribe. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. What are you doing? All right, so let's get into this video real quick. Now I've got up one of my projects here of a beat that I made, you know, a little while ago, a couple, couple days ago, a couple days ago, still about a week ago. And what I'm going to do here is I've gone into one of my patterns, as you can see in the background, pretty much every, every melodic element I use has been changed into audio because it just allows me to use less CPU while I am producing, which is obviously a great thing. And it also allows me to manipulate those audio files in a way that gets me the sound that I want. But that's something we're going to, we're going to touch on a little later. Let's just show you exactly how this goes down how you get this audio to how you get this MIDI to turn into audio really really quickly okay so first of all let's listen to this MIDI all right so let's put this MIDI right here and all we need to do is we need to set up a loop point. And what's, what you do want to do actually is you want to make sure that you've got the settings that you want on the mixer channel that this is being sent to. As you can see, I've got EQs, I've got growth speed there that I can turn off, I'll turn on, I've got a half time that I can turn on and an RC. 20 retro color as well but we're not going to go into mixing and all that sort of stuff right about now i just want to let you know that you can also turn this midi into audio with the effects that you want on them so that you use even less cpu so generally i'll put all the effects that i want on my um, melody here and then i'll bounce it down to an audio file and then I'll turn off all the effects except for the EQing because, you know, EQing the same part like four times isn't really going to hurt you that much if you're not changing the EQ and all that sort of stuff. So, um, we've got Omnisphere sitting here. Let's quickly change this into an audio file, right? We don't have to arm this recording. We don't have to use Edison. All we need to do is select this. So I use control and the left click. And then what you want to press is control alt C. Once you do that, you will see this pop up on your screen. And this is basically a bounce cue. This allows you to bounce whatever you've selected down to audio. You want to cut the remainder. If you leave the remainder, then you're probably going to have to cut it anyways. If you cut the remainder, it will basically cut at the end of this, this barred loop. And let's click start. And I'll show you how I how I operate with these files actually because I think that'll be useful for you so that you know how to use these files. So generally what I'll do, come on, let's, let's get that done. As you can see in the background of this project, 
you can see that these audio files are named. Usually I don't do that. <laughs> Let's be real. Usually I ain't naming anything, but it's good to name your stuff. It's just easier to organize and, and that sort of stuff. It's not 100% necessary all the time, but it's a good thing to do. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to keep this on so we can basically just hear what's going on. So usually I turn the de-clicking mode to crossfade. And that sounds pretty perfect. However, if you're having problems there, then you might need to go into Edison to de-click because Edison's de-clicking is actually really, really good. So um, compared to what you've got here with the de-clicking mode, Edison can really get rid of those clicks. Can't really do much here. Um, but that's besides the point. Now we've got our audio there and it took like no time. Usually I'd normalize this, I'd turn the volume down. This just gives me a little bit more control over the volume because it allows me to go as, as high as I need to. And we'll route this to track number one. And you know, there you go, Bob's your uncle, you're done. Now, usually, let's be real, what I would do with this, this is my secret source now. Like I've given you the steps you need to actually turn the MIDI into audio. So that's great. By the way, if you didn't know, I've got 10 free loops for you to download. Link will be in the description down below or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free loops. Grab those, you can use those in your beats free of charge, but this is this is gonna you know help you out in terms of creating some beautiful soundscapes yeah usually what i do when i am bouncing a midi to audio is i will pitch the audio uh, pitch the midi that i want to turn to audio uh, an octave up so i'll bring a whole octave up before i change it to audio and then once it's changed into audio i'll pitch it down I think this is 1200 cents, but basically you just pitch shift until pitch shift down until you can't pitch shift anymore. It will bring it down one octave and then this will sound very beefy, very ambient, and it will give you the, the perfect R&B trap feel that I usually go for. So let's listen to this. And it just, it's just right now. <laughs> it's just right. Um, but yeah, I love doing that. I do that with pretty much all my audio. Like if we go into here, okay, that's not pitched down. <laughs> that makes me look silly. But this, whoa, did I not pitch down any of this? Huh? I usually, usually pitch down all this stuff. Ah, I didn't pitch it down because I was using half time on it. And if you use half time on it, it already basically pitches it down. So you can't really do that, I guess. But yeah. That's how you do that. I highly suggest you try it out. Trust me, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this and there will be more videos on like creating melodies and all that sort of stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. And my question of the day is, what method was you using to turn MIDI into audio before watching this video? Cause I know I've changed your life now. I've changed your life. I've given you an easy shortcut. Remember that's control alt and c all at the same time and that's going to save you a bunch of time no more no more arming your track to record and then enabling this recording and doing all that sort of stuff we'll scan on over here doesn't matter let's get rid of that no more of that no more loading edison and then playing your whole sample and then getting rid of it and then you know dragging it out and all that sort of stuff long don't have to do none of that this is really really quick and really really easy but let me know how you used to do it in the comment section down below i think that'll be very very interesting and 
yeah i'll see you in the next video but be sure to click that like button comment down below and subscribe if this is the type of video that you know helps you out and that gives you some insight if you like these types of videos i need your feedback to know that you're enjoying it to know that i should make more of these types of videos so definitely leave that in the comment section and, and all that sort of stuff and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online marketing and online business peace out